Hello, Tanse, Bojo, good morning, and welcome everybody. My name is Dal Sarkan, and I'd like to welcome you to another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Now, this morning I'm broadcasting a little bit late. I apologize. I've uh, had a little bit of a weather delay out here. As you know, or may not know, I broadcast live every day from my home out here in Alexander First Nation. And we don't have very good, sufficient internet. And it's always, we're always at the mercy of the weather or the signal, which we broadcast uh, the internet. Um, we're on like a little bit of an old technology, I guess, uh, because it's through the airwaves that we get our internet signal. And we're at the mercy of that at times and um, I, I, have, I don't know what else I can say about that you know other than you know I try my best every day like I was up early this morning as usual just sitting there watching the rain watching the storm and um, we've actually had a lot of rain this year a lot more than average like we haven't even hit 30 degree Celsius weather yet in, uh, and it's summer and we've been in the low 20s and it's 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 crazy like how the weather influences everything so that's what inspired today's quote actually and i was actually reading it give me a second here you know, gotta grab my my paperwork because i keep my paperwork as you know i always try to write down things and uh, i write quotes and sometimes i'll research quotes and study them because those quotes are are very wise words and very good words to spark that uh, inspiration that comes from inside and wake up that that inner that inner spirit I guess that we have. So good morning everybody and welcome and thanks for for uh, hanging tight there for a minute while I was uh, just sort of gathering gathering my thoughts and as well I was preparing for the class. I was up early. However, I couldn't broadcast at my normal 7.30, 8 o'clock time uh, because of the weather delay. It has put us back a little bit, but that's okay. You know, that's what the weather does. Uh, the weather can influence everything. I've been in uh, many different shows over the past where, you know, if the, the weather is bad, we couldn't do the show. And I remember being uh, part of the Calgary Stampede and doing the evening grandstand show. Sometimes it would get rained out and uh, the crowd would just disappear and there'd be buckets of water everywhere and you know uh, either way I was there I was ready to go and ready to give her and same with powwow too that's what happens at powwows too so you know since we're doing powwow dance aerobics hey we're delayed we're not Indian time you know I remember um, last summer I was actually at Musquachis powwow and uh, just a little south of here it's about uh, it's about an hour and a half drive from here and Musquachis as you know is also known as Hobima. It, it used to be called Hobima, but they changed it back to Muskogee, which in Cree means bare hills. So there's your Cree word for the day already, Muskogee, which means bare hills. And that area, there's actually four reserves there. There's Samson, Ermanskin, Louis Bull, and Montana. So there's four reserves there. And it's pretty big reserves. Lots, lots of indigenous peeps, lots of Cree. Mostly, they're, they're probably like, 98% Cree and maybe some mixed with something else. Anyways, um, you know, I just thought I would uh, inform you, give you a little update on things and sort of just uh, introduce the class like that today. So good morning, everybody from wherever you're from. Uh, some people from Newfoundland, some people from Cali. Hey man, I hope you're staying safe out there in Cali. I see that the COVID cases are up. So, you know, uh, just keep your spirits up and, and uh, I'm sure you'll be just fine and uh stay safe at home and that's all there is to it you know over here in canada we don't really have a lot of cases but we still have to be careful and i just heard the who announcement this morning and how that our cases are the lowest in the world and uh, all because of the precautions that our government and our people have been taking so thank you people and thank you thank you everybody all the officials that have been keeping us safe through this global pandemic as you know so anyways, I got a quote that I found this morning by, uh, written by uh, uh, an old time uh, Greek philosopher like this guy. You know, we, we've studied Greek mythology, you know, I remember in school and hearing these different Greek philosophies. 
but I, I also love hearing the native philosophies and our teachings from our culture. So anyways, there is a great philosopher by the name of Aristotle, and he actually was a student of Plato. So both of those two are actually pretty famous in the quote world. They have a lot of famous quotes, a lot of teachings, a lot of different things that, uh, that just, you know, are, are still actually part of today's current events and we still use today. So good morning from South Dakota and good morning everybody and thank you for joining. And I'm going to start the class here very shortly. I have my new powwow mix, so there won't be any copyright issues because I own this, I recorded it. Actually, it was actually my friend, Kurt Young, that recorded this music. So anyways, I'm going to start with the quote and then we're gonna get into some dancing. We're gonna get warmed up. We're gonna, get, we're gonna do some stretching, do some more dancing and combinations and it's all good. Okay, so the quote goes, it is during our darkest moments that we must focus on the light. So it's a very short quote, but very effective quote. So during our darkest moments, yes, focus on the light. Like right now, like it's, it's, it's raining outside and the weather is terrible out here, but uh, I'm trying to focus on something greater than the weather. And you know, if, even if the weather is bad, it's still gonna be a good day, no matter what. You know, even though the weather kind of brings you down and you, you, you uh, do less things when uh, the weather's kind of not ideal situation. So um, anyways, I just thought I would share that about the, the weather and that's our dark moment. You know, in our dark moment, we, we still got to push forward. You know, I remember going out and having to work in days like this when I was working my job and it was, it was difficult, but still went out there and did the job. <clears throat> if you got a, a mission or a purpose in life, you got to focus on that all the time. So anyways, cheers, water, water is life. Even though it's raining, I love it. It's all good. The plants need it, the ground need it. Okay, so let's get started with some warm up activities. We're going to dance to a few songs. We're going to warm up. And then after that, we're going to get into some stretching and meditation. And uh, it's all about dancing here. So Hope you guys got your dancing clothes on. Okay. So, just gotta find a song that's good. Okay, here we go. Some live powwow. All right. Let's get moving, let's get grooving. First, we start off with our one-two step. So everybody, one-two step. If you're new to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics, what we do here is we do a full body workout all by just dancing to the beat of the drum, to the Pow Wow, and simply by doing the basic step, we're going to gradually work our way up and get a little bit more intense. So it's all about bringing the heart rate up, and right now we're going from our resting heart rate, which is probably around 50 or 60, depends how athletic you are. If you're more athletic, then your heart rate, resting heart rate will probably be a lot lower, like in the 40s. For my heart, resting heart rate, it's about 40 beats per minute. Now, as for the average person, your heart rate might be 50 or 60 beats per minute. Either way, Resting heart rate, you basically have to gradually bring that up. That's why the warm up is so important in working out and exercising and fitness. And dancing is really, really widely known as healing in all cultures all around the world. Dancing is healing, it's part of our culture, it's part of who we are as people around the world. Those dances define who we are as human beings in our culture. So our indigenous culture, we dance to those drums. We dance to 
beat. Like it's, we call this the basic step. So if you're dancing at a powwow, you'll see in the inner tribals, a lot of times the inner tribals happen in between everything, in between the dance contest. After the grand entry, they always go with inner tribal. So there we go. Okay, right into it. Okay, now we're gonna turn it up a notch. Now that we've got that established, that basic step, now let's give it a step up, give it a little bit more bounce like that. And if you want, you can move your hands like this. And that's the best way to find the rhythm of powwow. Simply by moving your hands and dancing to the beat like that. And just so you know, powwows, they don't start until one o'clock or seven o'clock. So natives, we don't really dance in the morning, but we do powwow dance aerobics. You can dance in the morning. And I definitely recommend dancing in the morning. You know, I've been dancing for years and dancing actually saved my life in a big way because before dancing, I was getting into trouble with the law. I was getting into trouble with different things in, in life that weren't good for me. But dancing is what, dancing is like my salvation and keeps me going. It gives me a lot of purpose in life. So I just want to share that with you. So thanks for joining everybody. Let's get dancing. How about dance aerobics? And this is a total body workout. So we're going to focus on our core area. And I see a lot of the comments in which are stated here. And people share how this is helping their health. So I'm very grateful for that. And I'm very thankful for the ability to dance another day. So here's another day of how out dancing, how out dance aerobics. And here we go. Basic step up. I feel my heart starting to raise now really good. Okay. So let's uh, do some core exercises. When you lift your leg like this, you're actually exercising your leg, your stomach muscles, and your core. And that's really important. Okay, there we go. So, if you guys wonder how how to understand powwow and and would it would it uh, how to dance to powwow music, you listen for that lead. So that lead singer. Then there's the pickup. And then there's verse one. After verse one, there's verse two. There's four parts in every song. So you listen for those four parts. And then they repeat that. So here's verse two. And that's where you're gonna hear those honor beats. So verse two, four parts, four starts. So here's start number two. Okay, so let's get some exercise going.
if you ever wonder why I do the counting like that, the counting actually helps train your brain as a dancer to organize in such a way in clusters in which you can coordinate your, your body movements. And this is also not only just a physical workout, it's a mental workout too because you're using your body coordination, we're doing counting, and counting is another thing in itself where you're counting and telling your body as you count to hit those beats on certain numbers and the counting definitely helps organize as, uh, as you learn to dance. If you're new to dancing, it helps you get coordinated in doing different dance moves and dance combinations. Now, as an experienced dancer, you know, if you're experienced and you've danced for many, many years, then counting definitely will help you to improve and dance with that much more ease. I'm sure many other dancers can relate to this counting system. Now we just did our first three songs and we've done our warm up. So now I'd like to get into some stretching. So the, the warm up is really important as well because warming up is definitely important when it comes to exercising and working out because the warm up basically warming up your, your muscles and your body so you can stretch because you never want to stretch cold and if you stretch cold you could actually do more harm than good so that's why I, I definitely do the warm-up first so we did the warm-up we did three songs so that's good and uh, so good morning everybody and thanks for joining and you know I, I see uh, I, I never seen my my good buddy Lyle on here Lyle Donald he's a dancer as well his whole family's a dancer Métis dancing, so if you guys want to check out some jigging or Métis dancing, check out uh, the uh, the Métis dancers. Uh, I think they're Métis, Edmonton Métis dancers or something like that. Uh, Lyle, drop it in the comments uh, if you're still watching um, some of your videos and maybe one of these times we can do a tutorial on jigging because jigging is also considered an indigenous type of dance which is a blend of Métis culture. And if you don't know Métis, um, look at me, I'm a definition of what a Métis would look like because I'm a half-breed, I'm a mixed, I'm a mixed with European and, and Indigenous and basically that's what in Canada we call Métis people. So, you know, and, and there's, a, like a, there's a whole dance and there's a whole language with Métis. Métis people are part of uh, our history in Canada and one of the very first premiers in Manitoba was actually Métis by the name of Louis Riel and he was the one who actually kind of spawned the revolution and the the race and everything to do with Métis people started out there in the Red River and that's why they have the Red River Jig which is considered the national dance or the official dance of the Métis people. Now the Red River Jig, I encourage you to look that up on YouTube. There's several, several, several versions of the um, of the Red River Jig. All across Canada, people like Métis people, they, they share that part of them with the Métis Jig and the fiddling. And I just thought I would share that and give a little light to that. I, I noticed Lyle was on here. Lyle is definitely, uh, you know, I've looked up to Lyle for years and I've seen the amazing work he's done with his family, his grandchildren, his children. And I'm super happy to see that culture flourishing that way. So I just thought I would share that and give a little shout out to my good friend Lyle Donald. He's actually, he's actually um, from the area where I'm from and I, I grew up, you know, he watched me grow up too as a, as a dancer when I first started. He was one of the ones that supported me. So thank you, Lyle. And I just thought I'd give you a little shout out there to you and your family for, you know, all the work that you do and continue to do. And I'm super, super proud of you and all your family, your grandchildren and doing that work. So anyways, let's get to, Let's get to the meditation portion here. I'm, I'm rambling on as usual, I'm talking. But anyways, I just thought I would give a little shout out there. So let's get stretching now that we've warmed up. Let's uh, stretch out, start out small. And the thing about warming up and stretching, that right there improves your blood flow and improves your energy. It, you'll notice a big difference in your nervous system, everything like that. 
people have shared on here and how it's helped them in their health because any imperfect action is better than taking no action at all. So even if you're just following along with this class, just slower version or more calmer version, then you know you can you can definitely follow along with this. So anyways, continuing on the stretching, we did the arm circles, so now let's do the arm crossovers. Right over left and left over right, nice and wide, nice and tight. That helps open up the chest plate area as well as loosen up the shoulders. And then we go into stretching out the the back. This this one actually stretches out the upper back. So if you try to pull your hands apart, you'll feel that stretch in the back of your shoulder blades. And if you give it a little twist like this, that will help stretch out the core and part of your lower lumbar and your back. And these stretches are important because they help they help relieve some of the pressures and pains in the body that you might have. And so we're gonna continue on just stretching in different groups, different different sections. So right here, keep your arm straight, pull it towards you like that, and that will help stretch out the the tricep muscle and the shoulder muscle. And very important as well. And like I said before, this is like a total body workout. So we actually get into working out all the muscle groups in, in the body. So next we're gonna stretch our neck. So this one, you just let the weight of your head do this one and you don't need to force it. I always tell my students on this stretch, um, your, your head weighs about as much as a pumpkin. So let your pumpkin do the stretching on this one and <laughs> just let the weight of your head do it and you shouldn't have to force it. So this one, chin to chest. And what you wanna do is you wanna roll from shoulder to shoulder. That helps loosen up things in your neck. Very important to stretch because if you don't, then you notice that you're a lot more vulnerable to injury and stuff like that. So what stretching does is it helps prepare you for your day. Like say if you're working like a labor job or you're just doing yard work around the house, Stretching definitely helps to prevent cramping, injury, and on top of that too, you know, like have lots of water. If you feel like your muscles are cramping a lot, then I definitely recommend drinking a lot more water and that will help decrease the cramping in your body or stuff like that. Anyways, um, I think we've done uh, most of the upper body now. Now we're gonna focus on the lower body. And uh, before we do so, I wanna do a quick stretch. I call this the tree of life stretch because you know i i i've been taught by a few elders that you know when you look at the trees they'll they'll teach you something they teach you that they are grateful they're thankful because they're holding their their arms up in the air like that and they're saying thank you for the sun thank you for the rain thank you for the wind and thank you for the earth as they put their roots deep into the earth and now we are like a tree so when the wind blows the tree the tree gets stronger and stronger. So I call this the tree of life stretch. This is good to stretch your core, to stretch your trunk, I guess. And it helps to loosen up things there. As well, we bend forward just to give it a good stretch there. And then we go backwards to stretch back like that. There we go. All right, that feels good. I feel like, <laughs> I feel illuminated and rejuvenated with that one. All right, so now um, a couple more stretches, hands behind your head, and we're gonna aim this elbow to your knee. And if you hear or feel a little click, don't be worried about it. It's just your body realigning itself. I haven't heard or felt a click in a long time, so Jesus, stretching business and working out is working for me and I'm you know I'm super grateful for it so anyways we're gonna start from the bottom up now now we do our ankle do some nice ankle circles like that that will help loosen up the joint the ankle <laughs> and that's important to do as well because um, we use our feet a lot and we're always walking and just walking, sometimes you can injure yourself if you step on a 
pothole or something or you step on a rock or an uneven surface doing this will help prevent injury so you do circles both ways typically every stretch you want to do about 10 seconds long so this one extends to the ankle as well as stretches out the calf and the back of the leg muscle and if you want more resistance you just lean more over so you want to do that for about 10 seconds 10 seconds is all you need for every stretch if you stretch there's such a thing as over stretching so if you over stretch that's another thing too like if you stretch too long now uh, the difference between the stretching and posing is uh, something you can find in yoga so i definitely recommend uh, seeking some yoga classes you can probably find them on youtube or online um, i know a couple of my colleagues do yoga so if you guys want to check out some yoga yoga is good too yoga is a good uh, healing exercise as well just like dancing you know but yeah the difference between yoga and dancing is yoga you're not actually dancing to the beat you're actually breathing to that beat so that's something I, I, I forgot to mention earlier is that part of stretching and meditating is breathing so breathe in deep in through your nose and out through your mouth and as a dancer before you even become a dancer you have to learn how to breathe before you actually get dancing just like singing for example if you want to be a singer you, that's the first lesson that you have to learn as a singer is how to breathe properly so when you breathe it's like deep in and out it's controlling the breath and that's how i'm able to function as a dancer and do all these moves because i've learned how to breathe consistently take in those deep breaths and out so the exhale is really important okay right on so thanks everybody for sharing your comments there some of you are saying this is way better than going to the gym well i agree you know you can do it from your home look i don't have a lot of space here i can touch my ceiling I literally only have like eight feet of space here. So even if you had a tiny home, you could do this exercise. So anyways, I just thought I would share that. And one of my colleagues uh, is sharing some yoga right on. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. You're awesome. <laughs> Shouts out to, uh, you know, uh, I have uh, a, a colleague and an administrator now that is working with me to improve this class. And we're hoping to take this to definitely a lot more platforms so thanks again for your help all right so we're gonna continue on with the stretching so this one you have to like pull your own leg and this one actually helps stretch the top of your ankle as well as your quadricep muscle and your hip area this one's uh, pretty good for that and you'll notice a big difference though when you warm up and stretch and with the uh, circulation in the body, you'll feel energy throughout the day. And if you start your day working out in the morning, you'll feel that energy all day. Opposed to like some people, they're really adamant about working out after, like after work or when the day's over, which to me makes no sense because you're low on energy and you're not gonna get a full workout. So that's just my little tidbit of information on that. I used to do that too, you know? I used to be in college and do it at the end of my class or whatever, burn off some steam. When you're younger, it's a lot easier. But as you get older, you know, your muscles tend to deteriorate a lot more. All right. So I do these stretches the same pretty much every day, like every day the same way. Because repetition is the mother of skill. And if you want to see results in anything, you have to re repeatedly do those those same things that you do, those habits. When you give up a habit, you got to replace it with a different, more positive habit. Okay, so now we're going back into some powwow dancing. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna get into some more powwow dancing. Powwow dance aerobics during the full body workout. Oh, that's a good song. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna... Not that fast. Okay. Wow, that's a good sound. Okay. Okay, all right, I gotta 
queued up now. So let's do some more dancing. Now that we've warmed up, stretched, now I can do a little bit more intensified dancing here. So thanks for joining and good morning everybody. Welcome to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Again, I'm your host, Dallas Arcan. And if you recognize some of the singers on here, definitely drop it in the comments. Um, I wanna give shouts out to the singers that we recorded at the Pow Wow. And again, if you haven't had a chance to check out the social distance Pow Wow, there are many dance specials there. There are many uh, dancers that share their story as well as their beautiful dancing. There's many singers out there. So I just thought I would share that with you. Again, welcome to Power Dance Aerobics. Let's get dancing. So if you're not familiar with the basic step, it's just right, left, one, two, step. Right, left, one, two, step, and one. Step again. Again, that's a Métis step. It's similar to. It's pretty much. 
trick to know that. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. have the luxury of having a, a fancy little thing like this little two pound dumbbell or a five pounder whatever but if you don't that's okay <coughs> because I don't even use these I use books or I will find a way to add extra pounds and weight to the to the to the workout so as you know dancers or you may not know, but we, we do carry a lot of extra weight when we dance. So now I want to do a little simulation and sort of simulate the, <coughs> the actual dancing that we do. And just by adding a little bit of weight creates that much more resistance and you're going to feel it. And then for those of you that are doing it, thank you. And thanks for sharing your soup can stories with me because you can also use soup cans. I had some good soup cans, but then we cooked them. <laughs> And I, I don't know, I just, I just got so much more used to using dictionaries or books or whatever. This still gives you some added weight and you're gonna feel it. So when we do this exercise, we're going to be focusing on our shoulders. We're also gonna be focused in on our, our biceps. And you don't have to worry about getting big muscles from doing this because it's impossible. You're not gonna get Dwayne Rock Johnson muscles out of this. Like, look at me, I, I work out, I lift weights and I do this and I'm still not like big. So you don't have to worry about big, it's about maintenance and it's about, um, you know, when you do higher reps, you're basically toning your muscles and strengthening your muscles. And it's all about strengthening the, the core of yourself. So let's get back into the dancing. Now let's pick up our weights and we're going to actually go through the motions. So also we're gonna be focusing on our hamstrings. 
that's the least worked muscle in the body and I just thought I would share that because as a dancer I danced many many years and uh, I overworked my quadricep muscles so anyways you definitely have to consider that when exercising to work those weak spots in your body so without further ado we're gonna do probably about another 10 minutes or so of dancing because you only need about 20 minutes of dancing to burn about 700 calories and it's effective you don't have to work out long i work out long on here because i enjoy it i i do this because i love it this is a free class i do this every day every morning and sometimes i i don't always start on time but that's okay i'm on indian time you know indigenous time you know and indigenous time is just go with the flow go with the flow the, the powwow doesn't always start at seven o'clock it'll start seven ish Hey. Anyways, here we go. Let's get back into some dancing. Unless you're a social distance powwow, those guys start on time. All right, Oka. Okay, working on those hamstrings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
cool down now. That was a good workout. I feel like... <clears throat> All right. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Reeves Joe. Dancing can help you in different ways. So thanks for joining along, everybody. I see that some of you are doing it at your own pace. And this is not a race. This is a pace. And your health is your wealth. Always got to take that into consideration. You know, that's the greatest gift you can give yourself is to invest. That's the best investment. Oh, I got an angry face. Somebody's mad. Poor left. Okay, then. Just never stop being deadly. My cousin Conway always says, never stop being deadly. <laughs> you know, and I can't control how people feel about me. If they're going to give me angry faces on here, I'm not here to harm nobody. So if you're angry at me for whatever reason, well, I don't know. It's none of my business really. And, uh, you know, I had to learn that from my life coach is that, you know, if somebody's mad at you or other people have an opinion about you, that's really none of your business. And, you know, it just kind of, kind of upsets me when people give me angry faces on here and I'm just trying to, you know, do good. I'm making my contribution. I'm giving back as a hoop dancer and I give back by doing this class for free every day. I'm giving back for all those years that people have given to me as a young upcoming dancer. I remember going to powwows, not having any money and people would help me out. People would help me and then also the, the, the dancers would help me out, mentor me. And so this is my way of giving back and that's why I do this class every day. I, I'm committing myself to do this class every day for as long as it takes for the next year or so for sure. I'm going to do one class a day and then we'll see where it goes from there. Maybe I'll continue it going for another year. Maybe I'll continue it going for five years because I've been doing this for like 20 years. I've been dancing and working out in the mornings. Ever since I got that back injury when I was like 24 years old, my daughter was just born. And I remember just being in such excruciating pain and I tried everything. I tried going to the doctor and they just give me pills and pills don't solve any problems. That's why I learned in that time, I got introduced to the rehabilitation program. And that's when I realized then and there that rehabilitation is the best medicine. So let's keep dancing folks, because this is important as well. So notice how my feet are moving and I'm dancing. This is what we call intertribal dancing at powwows. And basically what intertribal dancing is, is where everybody dances, even the non-native people. So if you're not indigenous, don't worry. You're, you're always welcome to the powwow and you're always welcome to powwow dance aerobics with me and you know it doesn't matter your age either some of you are 75 some of you are 50 60 or anything like that so it doesn't matter your age because everybody dances powwow everybody even the kids even the babies they have the tiny tots category they have the junior category they have the teen category they have something for everybody at the powwow even if you're a spectator you know, it's all free to watch this dancing, to watch this this living culture unfold right before your very eyes. And the MC, that's what makes the powwow, is the MC, the drums, the people, the dancers especially, and all the family members out there. So let's keep cooling down with some inner tribal dancing, keep your feet moving. Remember, after a horse races, uh, they don't just stop after they race. They actually have to be walked for like 15, 20 minutes or so, okay? So I'm gonna just gently dance as I talk here and continue on this lesson. Hopefully I don't get any more angry faces. <laughs> now I just learned to laugh about them, you know? Like if somebody's gonna give me an angry face, it's like, ha <laughs> ha. Anyways. I don't know, I just, I just get an SMH moment and I shake my head. I'm like, why are you angry, man? <laughs> why the angry face? Anyways, I just learned not to, not to care so much about or feed so much to that 
that animal because you know somebody I, I've heard this said a lot of times like we have two wolves we can feed in life we can feed the bad wolf or we can feed the good wolf so um, that's just something I thought I would share and I see that a lot in the world and you get what you focus on in life so if you focus on anger and fear and hate and stuff like that that's what you're gonna get out of life and I had to teach myself that, you know, even in times where I've been challenged and people like say stuff about me or talk about me or try to be lateral violent towards me, then, you know, I just learned to tune that out now and not participate in that because you must participate in your own rescue in life. And that's what I learned from my life coach because I remember times where I was down and out. And as you know, the suicide rate is, is like, crazy amongst First Nation people and Inuits especially up north there was a movie they did called the uh, We Are the Grizzlies you should check it out sometime my good friend Hype, T Hype Tanuk uh, uh, an Inuit rapper he's on there uh, actually his music's featured on there and it's a good movie that sort of gives you an insight as to what's going on in the current of indigenous communities so I'm gonna I'm gonna be real and talk about that too you know like that kind of stuff needs to stop you know we need to stop the hate and the lateral violence because you know I don't like hearing of people committing suicide and the suicide rates are are, are the highest in the country are in First Nations communities the indigenous suicide rate is huge and it, it saddens me to hear that and it's been that way for quite some time and part of it is because of health problems, health issues, mental health issues, and you know, physical health issues, whatever, you know, like a lot of different things. And geez, man, I just, I remember even facing that myself, you know, even considering that route myself, which, you know, I don't always like to talk about it or to admit it to myself, but I know there was times in my life where I actually think about, I thought about taking my own life. Life would be better if I was dead. And then I just had to just snap out of it. And something told me that that's not the way to go, you know, because life is precious. So the creator gives you a life. You got to make the best of it. And that's something I tell myself on a regular basis. So I tell that to the young people out there. And if you're ever considering or feeling down, you know, just remember that there's, there's light. You focus on the light in the darkness, like today's quote. It is during our darkest moments that we focus to see the light like Aristotle says. So anyways, I just thought I would share that in that little bit, you know, because First Nations, indigenous communities in the United States and Canada and around the world, you know, we've, we've went through a lot of things, you know, residential schools being uh, oppressed by the government. And, you know, I don't want to get polit too political on this channel or anything like that, but you know, those are the things that we're faced with. So, you know, like, when when the when the when the topic arise, ar when the topic of this issue arises, I always feel that it's it's important to talk about these things and share. And you know, again, we got to feed the good wolf and the bad wolf. Well, the bad wolf can go out in a bush and run around and be bad all they want, but you always got to remember to feed that good one and feed your spirit, everything like that. And that's what we're doing here. That's what Power Dance Aerobics is about. Is about coming here to be healthy and to share good stories. And I see a lot of you have been uh, sharing good stories here. And I thank, I thank you so much for all your kindness, all your comments, all your progress and everything like that that we're doing here. Because that's all it is. You know, I'm not on here to do anybody any wrong. I'm not here to harm anybody. I'm here to share what has helped me over the years. And that's Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. And Pow Wow Dance Aerobics, I, I do on a regular basis because as you know or may not know, I'm a professional dancer. You know, I do it for a living. I've, I'm an artist. I've done it for many, many years and I continue to do it. And I've influenced a lot of people, you know, like some of the younger generation that are coming up, like James Jones or Zeeland Kiknusue or uh, all the other countless number of students I've taught over the years. And I'm really proud of them for the progress that they've made and, you know, and, and the influence I was able to do you know, regardless of, I'm not a perfect human being, you know, I've made mistakes along the way. You know, I'm not uh, Dalai Lama here or anything like that. I'm Dallas Arcan, you know, I'm just another another dude, another human being. And I just share my, my story and my talents and my gifts and that's all there is to it. So again, uh, thanks for joining me for another version of Palo Dance Aerobics. 
Uh, I do this class every day. It's free to join. All it takes is your time. All you got to do is spend your time. And that's all there is to it. And it's the best investment you can give yourself is an investment in your health. And that self-care and that self-love and all that. So if you find this message of value, at the very least, um, share this video with your friends and your family. And uh, as well, uh, don't forget to hit the like button on the page. And um, if you want to say hi in the comments or share a story, uh, we're always open to that. And also check the comments because my, my team has actually been adding uh, links through this uh, video and many other videos. And those links are good resources to check out. Like if you, you want to check out some of the topics that we talked about or touched about. And uh, also we, we share Cree, a little bit of indigenous language here as well. It's a kind of a platform to share, you know, the good cultural teachings, the language and stuff like that. So again, uh, thanks again for joining. And until next time, you guys keep fit, have fun, stay safe out there. And we'll see you again soon. So until then, peace out.